Montrom Blanc is located in the Laurentian Mountains of Quebec, Canada. A hot tourist attraction for its winter sports, the Algonquins named it Trembling Mountain. A fitting name as CTCC and its drivers would shake the ground at this weekend's race. This is the first year CTCC and many of its racers will encounter Circuit Montrom Blanc. Built in 1964, Circuit Montrom Blanc has been host to many races and drivers, including four wins by Mario Andretti. It was overhauled and redesigned in 2000 under its new owner. This track is fast and it is dangerous. Scott Nickel of Team Velocity is back following a couple years hiatus. Scott was crowned the 2005 Touring Car Champion and also still holds the record of fastest lap at Mossport when he clocked in a near 34 second lap time while racing in touring class. Scott's a really good friend of mine. We've been uh, friends for about six years since we started on the team together. He's very quiet, very reserved, which is not usually a race car driver trait. I couldn't, couldn't meet a calmer, cooler customer around this mayhem of a racetrack. He trains me and treats me with a lot of respect, and I got nothing but the utmost respect for that, that man. He's a great driver. He knows how to wheel a car, for sure. I've been with him in the car around motorsport and around lots of tracks, and I've done a lot of motorsport myself. And you know, you think you're a good driver, and then you get in a car with a guy that's got talent up here. You go, this, this is a guy that can drive. So it's really nice to know that your guy is out there doing his best and is really wheeling the car. And you know, and then of course he comes in and he's super humble. He's like, sorry guys, there's only so much I could do out there and I feel really bad. I'm usually pretty laid back most of the time. I usually don't get too excited. Um, it takes quite a bit for me to get excited. As a driver, uh, he's giving us a lot of feedback on what's happening with the car and uh, suspension and we're always tweaking it. He knows a lot more about race cars than I do as a crew chief, which is where I'm trying to get myself on further, but that's kind of the goal of our team is, you know, teach people things. When Scott uh, gives us some instruction, you know, you know, adjust camera here and bump steer there, and it's, uh, you know, we learn, we learn quickly <laughs> having a guy like Scott around. Our team is uh, based out of the factory and we're all factory workers, uh, some different aspects of the, of the company and we volunteer our time to, to this program. Not one person is more important than the other. We try and use the same philosophy that we use at Honda. Everybody is sort of equal and might be the driver, but you know, uh, Todd's job is just as important as mine or Matt's job, Phil, Carson or Miles. If they don't fulfill their 
their function on the team, and you know, the team's gonna gonna slide, and you know, we'll have maybe not be at that top level. Right now, we're just doing some post weight checks, so we're trying to get the car as light as possible for qualifying. Also, what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand our fuel mileage for the race. The goal is to be as light as possible and still meet the minimum requirements by the series. So, because you know. The more weight you have in the car, the more weight you have to brake, the more weight you have to turn. You can see inside the car, we've cut out the, the door frames inside. Mainly we try and do a lot of the, the lightning or we'll use lightweight materials. So you, this carbon fiber box, it's lightweight, but it also serves many, many purposes. We're holding the gear shift lever, we're holding all of our switches. It keeps my legs safe, so if there is ever an impact, it you know I don't you know, break my feet or ankles or anything like that. For qualifying in the races, what we'll do is we try and monitor our fuel mileage because we know how much fuel we use per lap. But obviously the faster you're going, the more fuel you're going to use. It's a real game. you really trying to optimize the car as much as possible. We got it pretty much down to a science now. So when we ran at Montreal uh, about a month ago, when we came into the scales, uh, our minimum weight were supposed to be 2,525 pounds and we came at Okay, track time. You needed that. You needed all it was the track good. time. That's better good. to be more faster, but yeah. everybody well, else. We, was everybody so else is faster too. Three guys, four guys in the 45s. We don't have that. So we just don't have the motor that some of the guys have here. So we're trying to throw tires at it, to try and make the car faster. We did one fast lap, and then uh, after that, we always caught traffic, so couldn't really get a get a quick one in. And here you got to do the lap early because it's track so abrasive. So you don't get it done early, you're not going to get a quick lap. We, uh, we've got the car set up. We haven't, we didn't have to make any changes. Quite often with our team, it's like we come back from a session and we go, let's change everything. Change all the springs, change the sway bar. We have to do everything. You notice we're all just kind of sitting around right now. So. Scott's happy with the car, we're not changing a lot. We're changing the tires because he went through and he cooked a brand new set of tires after qualifying, so we're putting new front tires on it, which we were hoping we'd have to use, but he wanted to drive, he wanted to drive the whole session, so that's what we spent yesterday on. We tested and that was it. Well, we had a wheel, we had a wheel that was bent earlier, and uh, they're just mounting it up for us. Actually, I was getting new wheels earlier, and we had one wheel that was bent when I came over here and brought it over here, so they mounted a new one up for us, and they're just uh, getting it mounted. So here it is, brand new stickers for later. We were gonna run our qualifying tires, but Scott got them pretty warm during qualifying, so we're gonna uh, try it over. 
Uh, well, that's still the bent one. Yeah, oh, okay, sorry. Oh. You can probably still see here the bend in the wheel. It might be hard to see, but... Sorry, I came too fast. <laughs> These guys are very busy, and I'm uh, a little bit ahead of myself. Based on who's out there now, well, there's there's three or four guys, and, and this is tough for us because we left this class for a couple of years due to you know the downturn in the automotive industry. And when, when we were in here before, we were the team fighting for podiums and race wins and so on and so forth. And it seems that a lot of people have come out and brought their A-game. We're kind of moved down the grid, it seems, a little bit. So we're kind of fighting for top fives these days. Even though we qualified eighth, there's some guys that you, know, you can rip off a fast lap, but uh, Doing that for an entire race is a whole nother thing. Our car is really fast to the corners and Scott is nothing but consistent, so. I got into racing when I was uh, around 13. Uh, my mom had always gone to the Formula One races with her girlfriends. My dad and I had always watched the Indy 500. And, and uh, I had a paper route uh, when I was 13 and for a little while and delivering my papers one day and saw sort of a formula car style car in the guy's garage and just asked him uh, asked him if we could help if I could help and he's like you know here take a broom start sweeping start cleaning up so sort of started from there and then eight years later I knew more about the car than he did and I just sort of did it on my own you know like I was watching the races with my dad and my mom would go to Formula One and we'd always sort of watch the races and like it was kind of cool, the guy around the corner had one. I'm like, oh, get started here. Try, try that, and just sort of progress from there. On, on the track, the main thing that I'm scared of is guys that don't know what they're doing when they're, when they're out on the track, or don't keep a, a heads up as to what's going on. You're always pushing those limits, and someday, you know, you could have a failure on the car, and it could break, and that could, uh, that's a pretty big scare. Uh, thank goodness we haven't had uh, had any of those. If you goes by here in the Lombardi car, you are good to go. Scott is uh, probably the, the fourth or fifth fastest guy on the track. The three leaders have checked out, so we're just uh, we're just trying to catch the next uh, catch the next two or three guys in front of us. He gained one position. So he's up to seven right now. Uh, he's running very consistent. The engine temperature actually came up quite a bit, so he's uh, we're, we're a little concerned about it. Yeah, he sure did. 38. Beautiful. 41 and a half. 90, nice. 44.2. 44.2. Yeah. Yeah, that tire we got to fix. Uh, 47.2. 37.2. 37.2. Everything seemed to go okay. It was just hard to catch up to those guys that were a little bit faster than us. Like, uh, they're just fast. We got held up with the solstices. We did get both of them, so that was kind of, that was nice to at least move up a couple of grid positions. So, it's, it's nice to move up. We're gonna go check, uh, do a compression test on the engine because it is feeling a little soft. We, we have said that it's a little soft. It's our engine from 2008. We've been running it since then. It's, it hasn't even been out of the car since then, so we're gonna go take a look at it. We've known we've been down on horsepower and we actually have a new engine coming, but it's, you know how engine builders are. So we'll, we'll see.
yesterday's race, uh, we struggled a little bit in the high speed, high speed corners around here, and that's sort of what makes a good lap. So we decided to make some big setup changes for uh, race two today. Currently, we're making about uh, 260 horsepower. 2.4 liter uh, K-series Honda motor out of uh, TSX. Um, there's a lot of custom parts on it. Um, like over here we have the uh, water pump outlet that's custom. It's got a Schrader valve so we can uh, bleed off any air that uh, is in the, the cooling system. Um, we're running an NSX uh, intake box with uh, just a regular paper element uh, air filter. It's a pretty mild build for the most part. Uh, there's nothing really heavy. We're running stock cams. Um, a lot of the components are factory Honda components, so we're really trying to uh, display what uh, what you can actually do with uh, stock Honda parts. You can you can get in as much as you want. You can spend you can spend a lot of money if you have a lot of money. Yeah, the guys the guys that have have a lot of money seem like they uh, they do very well. <laughs> and uh, they don't they don't see as many breakdowns as uh, somebody who puts a little bit less money into their car would, would probably see. Everything in the car is set up just for, for Scott and the way that the way that he likes it. So like the, the seat height, the incline on the seat, the seat position front to back, position of the shifter, everything is all custom to how Scott likes it. And and uh, our goal really is to make Scott as comfortable as possible on the track so that he can perform and and really get around there as, as quick as you can. As we saw on the track yesterday, with the temperatures, the ambient temperatures we have out here, plus uh, the drafting that we saw, we do have two or three cars that are running very similar lap times to us, and they're hard to get around. We found this season already that the solstices are very hard to get around, so we're, we're right on those guys, right on their tails. We were trying to draft them to try and gain speed so we could get around them but uh, as we follow closer to them, the air doesn't get to the radiator. So the water temp was starting to go up, and starting to go up, starting to climb, so it's sort of getting concerned. We find that if we really end up following them, we'll end up having to back off a little bit and let that water temperature go down, which is not really what you want to do. You want to keep pressure on the guy so that you can maybe force him into making a mistake. I was trying to pop my nose out just to get some clean air to the rad, just to get it cool, but at the same time, I knew I had to get around them because you know, if I can run in clean air, I know I can get the, the water tent down. So it was you know, pretty stressful just, you know, trying to get it around them, trying to be quick. So eventually I ended up getting around them. We were lucky, lucky enough that the water tent started coming down, coming down to a level that's, that's normal. Today we're starting in uh, P6, and uh, our competition right now is uh, Benjamin Vistalo, who's in P5, and Sasha's in P4. So we're going to try and get it around Benjamin as quickly as we can today and try and at least uh, hang with uh, Sasha and get him to try and wear his rear tires and hopefully get around him at the end. Uh, we 
had a good go. We tried, uh, we had a run at uh, Distalo at the start and uh, down the back, down the back stretch there, he uh, messed up a little bit, got a little bit of a run. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. Had to, I knew I had to try and get him early because I needed to move up to, to Sasha, but uh, I tried, uh, tried as best I could and just didn't work out this time. E5 is still pretty good. You know, we're gonna get some more points in the championship. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll move up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. You don't want to get in the hot race car? No. Okay, I'll get. It. I was in there long enough. This track is uh, pretty challenging, more challenging than I uh, anticipated. And there's a lot of really, really high speed corners that take a lot of courage. Trying to get that balance of you know, the aggression and then patience and then aggression and then patience. It's uh, definitely challenging. Going forward, we're definitely looking at our engine program. We need, know we need to step it up there. And, you know, we've got an engine coming on for uh, most sport in the rest of the season that's uh, hopefully going to help us out there. You know, we're going to try and push hard and do what we can to move up. Move up. We, we know that you know our, our current position isn't good enough. And we, we need to be up there. We want to be up there. Scott and Team Velocity will need to continue to push themselves to the front of the pack. With a new engine and his home track advantage, Scott has P1 in his sights. <laughs>